Hello again and welcome back to March Payne's Midlife Dolly Crisis and we are in June which is Pride Month so I thought what better time than now to open this big hunky doll. Um, <laughs> this is from the Signature Lux line and this was from the third wave. So I do still have some dolls from the earlier waves to open uh, but I've not got around to them yet. This was the only one I bought from this particular wave. This was the wave that was very, very colourful. And although, you know, they, they were nice enough. There was nothing wrong with the dolls. None of them particularly grabbed my attention. The only reason I kind of got this guy is because his body type was a different one, um, which I didn't have. And yeah, I just thought he'd be, I thought he'd be fun. I think it'd be a fun guy to open. So obviously this is the front of the box. So we've got um, Barbie Signature Looks down the bottom there. Each of these boxes had a different colour, which is different to the previous ones where all their boxes were exactly the same. They just had sort of different details on the side. So obviously they would have which model it was. But all of these, because they were so colourful, they had a kind of a corresponding coloured box. So obviously he is model number 18. If we look on the back here, we can see the others in the in the range. So here we go. Um, so these were the ones here. So there were six altogether. There were two Kens and four Barbies. So um, it says in the back here, bold and bright, the Wave 3 Barbie looks dolls are ready to style, pose, photograph and post. And then because of being in Europe, basically, I've got all this in lots of different languages there. So, um, the boxes are quite simple. I'm going to get him out of the box and then we'll have a proper look at him. Okay, so the doll is out of the box. Let's have a quick look at this other stuff that he comes with. So we've got this, which is the Certificate of Authenticity. It's, it's kind of a bit useless. I, I don't really know what the point of this is. I don't think that they are particularly that special a doll. It's on kind of flimsy paper. It seems it seems a bit pointless to me, but anyway, look. That is that is the certificate there. We've then got uh we've got a stand. Now this one has got a white base. So the ones that I had, I think they all had black bases, but I guess with these colourful ones they've given them a different a different type. So obviously the post bit goes in the back there and I've always I always put these on the wrong way. Put this one on the wrong way as well. Let me turn it around. And then we've got the waist clip here. Obviously, the waist clip is a bit bigger because it's for a Ken doll. Um, but yeah, so that is that is the stand. Let's have a look at the doll. So get him out of the box wasn't too much of a hassle. I was keeping the boxes for the Lux dolls, but to be honest, I think I may as well just get rid. I can't see a time where I'm going to need the box again because once you've actually got the dolls out the boxes the inside of the boxes anyway are not in the best of conditions he wasn't easy to get out of the box he had tags in the back of his head he had sort of plastic bits around him but there weren't actually that many of those sort of horrible tags it was mainly the kind of the thick pieces of kind of rubbery material kind of keeping the legs down and I think there was some around the thighs there was one around his shoulders as well, I think, and one around his waist. And yeah, he had tags in the back of his head as well, which was keeping him on to a sort of a back back plastic thing. Um, obviously, he's on a made to move body. And this is, as I mentioned, this is, I think, is it the Superman body or something? It's it's a buff body anyway. It's very, it's very muscular. I have to be honest, he reminds me a bit of Max Steele, who was a doll from the early 2000s, maybe. I'm pretty sure there was some sort of cartoon or something that he was in. He was basically kind of an action hero, but I think he had special abilities as well. But he was very muscular also, and um, he's kind of got a look of that. He also looks like a footballer to me as, as well, which I'm not really sure about. Um, but yeah, so his face, his face is okay. I kind of feel like they make more of an effort with the Barbie faces than they do with the Ken faces, which is always a bit of a shame. I suppose they can sort of do more with with the Barbies in that they can give them different kind of makeup and stuff like that. With the Kens, they're basically just kind of like eyes, eyebrows, lips, that's kind of it. Um, he's got sort of designer stubble, which is which is quite nice. Um, 
it's kind of a shame they don't try and flock that, isn't it? Because that might be... It would, it would kind of give it a bit more sort of texture, I suppose. But but they don't. Um, he's also got dimples. I don't know if you can see them on either side. That's quite cute. I kind of feel like someone repainting this doll would do a kind of a nicer job of it. A sort of make him look a bit more sort of... A bit more like the actual Barbies do from the range. Because the Barbies' faces all seem to be so much nicer and you know more sort of detailed um the hair is not that dissimilar to the hairstyle that we had earlier on with the um the sean doll from the first wave it's obviously very gelled so he's got basically kind of a long bit at the top and then an undercut all the way around and then around the back and yeah, on, on kind of both sides. That is flopped. So that, that's quite a nice a nice detail. He's also got good movability in his neck there. So they can kind of do that on these bodies. But they don't seem to do it for the Fashionistas, which is kind of annoying. In that they don't do it for the Fashionista Kens. So if we go further down, he is wearing a, a t-shirt here. So it's orange and yellow. Obviously, he has got very big muscles. So... They're kind of, they're a bit strained, I think. It kind of feels, it's very fitted, I suppose. Um, depending on, on where you put the bicep, the, the arm is going to really kind of look like it's struggling a bit. I'm sure it's not. I think it's fine. But I suppose it's just the fact that he is a bigger doll. So, yeah, so we've got this um, sort of orange bit here around the arms. And then we've got this sort of highlighter yellow on the main body of it. Everything is very nicely stitched anyway. There's all Velcro down the back there to keep it to keep it on or to remove it or whatever. And everything, as I say, is nicely stitched. There's no raw edges to that at all. Um, it's just a bit dull, I suppose. I, I, like I say, I don't really feel like they do make that much of an effort with, with the Kens. They kind of just, oh yeah, stick that on them and give them that face and that's it. And then with the the kind of the Barbies, they seem to make a bit more of an effort. So we've then got the shorts. Again, they're very nicely stitched around the waist as well. Um, it's that kind of sort of stiffer material. It's a very nice blue, kind of electric blue colour. And again, we've got fastenings at the back of the Velcro there. Everything, everything is kind of hemmed okay around the legs. Then if we go further down, he's got these sort of blue, blue sneakers or trainers. There's lots of detail on this. It's it's very crisp actually. The sort of the molded detail. Um, sometimes the molded detail on the shoes, you know, isn't as as crisp as this, but it it looks very crisp. Obviously, there's no painted detail on these at all, but. They look like a nice design. I don't know if I've got these. I don't think I've got these for anyone else. Maybe his feet are different because he's kind of a, a, a bigger doll. Maybe his feet are kind of bigger as well. They do have ankle articulation on these, which I always worry about, especially when removing removing the shoes. But um, I will be removing the day because I am going to actually undress him um, just so we can see what his body is like. I just wanted to show you the articulation of him. So we've already looked at the, the neck there. So that gives us quite a lot of movement, which is great. Generally, it's going to have the same movement as the other made to move bodies. But obviously, you know, his sculpt is quite different. So he's got this chest movement here, which honestly doesn't really do an awful lot. It basically goes back and forth a little bit. And I'm presuming it's like that with the with the other Kens as, as well. I just don't know if there's... I don't know if it warrants that, to be honest. It's, it, it does move a bit, but it's not like, it doesn't give us huge amounts of movement. Um, the shoulders, obviously, they, they move out and they move kind of back and, and forth. He is a little bit stiff. Um, and I don't know if it's because maybe the kind of the shaping around the arms is, is a bit different. Uh, he's got articulation at the, the bicep there. And then he's got double joints at the the elbow. Um, he has wrist articulation there as well. I actually don't like his hands. 
I don't know if it's that kind of weird sort of grippy pose thing. I think I would have preferred him if he'd had the same the same hands as the, the regular sort of Ken made to move bodies, where they kind of have just more like a sort of a neutral sort of flat hand. For him, it almost looks like he's like an action man with that kind of like the the sort of the grippy hands. I'm not sure. I don't know why they've really done that. Uh, if we go further down, there's nothing on the waist, articulation wise. Um, he's got his little sort of Y fronty sort of pants on there. Uh, we've got articulation here at the hips. So they do kind of go out and they go up and they go, they kind of go back, but not, not actually very well. It kind of goes back, but at a weird sort of angle. So yeah, you can't really sort of pose them in the same way as, as a person would pose, say. He's then got articulation here at the, at the thigh. So they will twist round. These actually seem a little bit loose, which is weird because some of the rest of him seems a bit stiff. We've then got articulation at the knee. So again, this is double jointed in the same way that the, the elbows are. I do find these sometimes a little bit stiff and sometimes you can sort of see little stress marks on the plastic. I pretty much think you're going to get that with, with all of them, unfortunately. I don't think it's just him. I think it's, you know, they're all a little bit like that. Um, his joints seem a little bit different in that there's a lots, lots of kind of rounded edges here, whereas I'm not sure if you get that with the other ones. And then we've got the ankle articulation at the bottom. And yeah, so they'll basically move up and down and they will turn as well. I have to say, I don't really like the articulation on ankles. I think I've mentioned that already in the video, but I just really worry when it comes to, to sort of the the whole sort of removal of shoe situation. So I am going to bring another doll on so we can compare him to a sort of a regular made to move Ken body. So you might remember Fabio. I think I showed you when I rebodied him, but I'm not actually 100% sure. So he is the same, he's pretty much the same height. They're the same height as each other. It's just obviously the mould on him is very different to the mould on, on this one. And you see what I mean with the hands? At least with this one, he seems to have a much more sort of neutral hand pose with, you know, most of his fingers. Actually, there's two fused together, but the other ones, you know, you, you can get him to hold stuff. But with this one, it's literally kind of a bit sort of grippy. It almost looks like he's continually going round sort of flexing, I, I, I don't know, I like a fist, I, 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 I just don't know, I'm not sure why they've done it. So yeah, I have to say, I do kind of prefer this body, I, I think, to this one. I think also redressing them, it might be an issue because I don't know if regular cane clothes will actually fit him because he is so big, even kind of baggy ones. So I guess, Maybe we'll see. Maybe that's that's a whole other a whole other video. So I'm going to get him dressed again, and we'll have a final look at him. Okay, so he's kind of standing on his own, but it was a little bit of a struggle. I always I also think because of the ankle articulation, you have to have it at a very kind of like precise angle, or have them wearing shoes where they can almost lean into the front of the shoes. So they have to be kind of high on the ankle rather than having the actual joint exposed in a way. I hope that makes some kind of sense. Um, so yeah, he can kind of stand, which is which is good, but obviously he's got a doll stand anyway. So, you know, that that's good as well. Any doll that comes with a doll stand, you know, it's pretty good. So, what are your thoughts? I know this is probably quite old by now and uh, most people have actually already unboxed theirs. Let me know what you think of him down in the comments below. Let me know if you've restyled him or done anything interesting with him. Please like the video if you've enjoyed it and please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And please join me and Kim over at The Dolls and the Witch in the Wardrobe in a few weeks when we will be doing a Dolly Pride Parade, which is basically a sort of a celebration of the LGBTQ community and Pride Month. It's going to be on the 29th of June. If you'd like to take part, all you need to do is basically make a little video 
It doesn't have to be a parade. It could literally be the dolls just kind of having a little get together or having having a party or something like that. So please use the hashtag Dolly Pride Parade. And also, if you can, please link to my channel and also Kim over at the Dolls Witch and the Wardrobes channel as well. And yeah, let's just have some fun. The more the merrier. So until the next time, take care. Bye.